Would you like to get a government job quicker? It usually takes about four to six months to get a federal government job, but with the direct hiring authority, it can move a lot faster. Direct hiring eliminates competitive rating and veterans preference, but it can't just be applied to any job. It's for the jobs that have a critical hiring need or if a severe shortage of candidates exists. This means that if the hiring manager likes your job application, you go straight to the interview stage. You don't have to worry about being held up by human resources. Now, the exact way that this works, it varies. So you have to read the entire job announcement. Okay, so let's look at the top five jobs that have direct hiring authority. Let's go to usajobs.gov and type in direct hire into the keyword search bar. You have to do it this way for now because as crazy as it sounds, there's currently no filter on usajobs.gov for direct hire. Now this is something that will probably change in the future. Okay, we can see here that there are over 3,000 direct hire jobs available right now. Keep in mind that this number, it's not always accurate. But if you see the word direct hire authority in the name like you see here, then it's safe to assume these are direct hire positions. It will also mention this when you open the job announcement. You'll be able to read direct hire authority. Now let's go ahead and look at the job series filter and find out which jobs are popping up the most. First, we have 1102 with 130 jobs, mainly in the 1101 and the 1103 job series. This is an example of what a typical job announcement would look like in this series. You can see here that they want you to have a four-year degree in anything or 24 semester hours in business classes. The specialized experience is reviewing and administering contracts. Some people have this experience from the military or the private sector. You can use that, get something like this around the GS 11 level. Now, when people get into the 1102 series, a lot of times they'll stick around for five years or so. And then what you will see is they'll transition into the 0300 job series, or they'll just go into the private sector and chase after more money. Next, we have the 2210 job series with 137 jobs, which is an IT specialist. This one is with the Department of Transportation and it's an information security position. The salary goes up to $183,000 a year. This is the specialized experience requirement. Most of what is needed is IT security experience. This position is in the OCIO office, and if you run a quick search, the word security comes up 22 different times. As you might imagine, it's very important for you to have the word security in your resume. Don't apply for a position like this and have no mention of the word security. Also for a position like this, you probably want to have the CompTIA Security Plus, maybe some other IT security certificates that might help your chances with these type of positions. With the 2210 position, a lot of them also have a recruitment bonus or maybe even a relocation allowance that's eligible for people that apply. So if you wanna know that information, look at it, read the job announcement before you even apply to the position. Now listen, if you're struggling, if you're still having a hard time getting a federal government job, I would encourage you to go to one, two, or three different virtual hiring events. You can get these virtual hiring events on usajobs.gov. But if you would like me to email them to you instead, I'll do that if you sign up for the newsletter down below. Okay, next we have the 0400 job series with over 150 jobs with 0401 leading the way. Here we have a natural resource specialist with the USDA. Let's scroll down and look at the qualifications. Here it says you need a bachelor degree in biology or natural resources, or you can offset that with some experience. Here's the specialized experience section, and a lot of this stuff calls for management of natural resources. The entire 0400 job series, it's in the sciences. So we're talking about zoology, botany, microbiology, all that sort of stuff. And I thought originally that this would be in the USDA or one of those type of agencies, but the majority of the positions are in the DOD and in the Department of Army. Next, we have the 0300 job series with over 180 jobs with 0303 leading the way. This is a program support assistant position in the VA at Buffalo, New York. Let's scroll all the way down to the specialized experience section and it says provides quality control checks on data using software applications like word processing and databases. This is a GS7 position, and if you've spent any time in the 0303 job series, you know that the GS grades, they tend to trend lower. 
If you're looking for an admin position with a higher GS grade, meaning a higher salary, you're gonna have to look at 0301. I do wanna highlight the required document section of this job announcement. This job announcement actually mentions a cover letter and it has other documents that I wouldn't really worry about unless you were a veteran. I do not typically recommend a person write up and attach a cover letter with their job application, but in this circumstance, it actually says that it is accepted. So if you were applying to a job announcement like this, I would say go ahead and attach a cover letter. For all the other documents, if it doesn't apply to you, don't worry about it. You do not need to attach it. Next, we have the 0800 job series, over 400 jobs. Top one is a civil engineer. Let's look and find a civil engineer position. This one is with the Department of Army. And we can see in the specialized experience section here that it largely wants people with experience with civil engineering projects. Another thing interesting is that it states hiring incentives may be authorized and that PCS allowance also may be authorized. Now, usually with the 0800 job series, a lot of these positions, they want you to have a bachelor's degree in engineering that's accredited by ABIT, or they want you to have a PE, which is a professional engineering license through your state. This job announcement, it doesn't mention that. So you could potentially not have those things and still apply with the right relevant experience and you could be found qualified for a job like this. Okay, next we have the 0600 job series with over 700 jobs with nursing and medical officers leading the way. This is by far the largest amount of direct hire jobs. We see nurses and physicians here. Let's click on this nurse job announcement and we can see it starts all the way down at the GS5 level where you do not need experience, but you do need a degree. Most of these jobs are in Health and Human Services, HHS, and also DOD. And when you close your eyes and you think about a nurse or a doctor, you're thinking about somebody probably in a hospital or some sort of medical clinic. Well, there are several positions that are available that are 100% remote. Of course, there are some heavy educational requirements that are associated with this job series, but if you work in the medical field right now in the private sector, I mean, you owe it to yourself to at least consider some of these opportunities in the government. Direct hire should be one component of your government job search, but there's other strategies and there's other techniques that you can implement in order to get a government job. Now, if you're wondering what those are, I did a live stream recently, and I answered probably about a dozen questions about the federal hiring process, about government jobs. If you're interested in that, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.